odd sunset. So you can get this as a full set. This is just the sample size. And I have used it many, many, many times. I love it. I, as you can see, I've hit the I've hit the pan on it, so I love it. You're gonna dab, 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 dab. The inner corner as well. Sweep it, sweep it, sweep it. Don't go over your Indian wood because we're gonna get to that next. Okay. Then I'm gonna take a smaller brush. You could use this same brush for the crease, but I just like a, a more intricate, smaller brush for my crease. Then we're going to take this gold shade right here and put it in the crease over the Indian wood. So you're going to draw a line down draw a line over and fan it over, over your crease. For your eye creases, you're going to go just a step above and work it in. And like I said, we're going, we're building the color lighter to darker. So this is a nice gold shade, which will look good on any eye color. Then we're going to take this more bronze color with that same brush and yes wipe off your brush after every use and so it the colors are truer and not muddled from every use okay and we're going to just take that slightly in a little bit more work it over work it over then bring it in the clinic this is a spicy quad, and I'm using the dark the chocolate, a chocolate brown, and like I said, there is a dupe for this in the 120 palette, so no worries, just the, the, a dark brown that suits your skin tone will be wonderful from the 120 palette. So, that shade right there, same brush, tap it off because we don't want any fallout. And you're going to take it and you're going to draw a line from the edge of your eye and wing it over in that V, doing that V shape. And smudge and blend. And I started out really light, like I said. You can always add more. Taking away is hard. You might as well just wash your face, start over. Okay, we're going to go down. Bring it down and over in the V shape. You can use tape for the for the side of it, so you have a good uh, clear crisp angle. However, I I didn't because I'd already added on my foundation and my bronzer and all that. And if you take that tape off after you've done that, you're gonna have an area where there's nothing because all your foundation and bronzer will have came off on the tape. So. I'm just doing it like this. The highlight color that I use from MAC is Frost. Uh, it's a Frost Nylon from MAC. It's just a creamy, buttery, shimmery shade. It's really pretty. And you're going to catch that right under the eyebrow. Fan it. You just fan it out. You're going to come in by the tear ducts because the light will catch all of that. You're wanting to graduate from lighter to darker. Um, then as far as the bottom of it goes, your, the bottom part of your eye, you can take that dark chocolate shade again, that same little brush, and just drag it. And now I'm going to be using Clinique Brown Sugar Eyeliner. It is this beautiful, bronzy brown, beautiful color. I don't know if you can see that. It's just really pretty. And I tilt my head to the side, and I just take, I don't pull on my eye. I just tilt it, close the eye, 
And I'm not doing any kind of like winged eyeliner on this. I'm just doing a simple, simple lined eye. And then I'll pull from here. And I'll meet the lines. I don't go all the way underneath. I do not go all the way in. I only go maybe halfway or one one third of the way in. Um, I just that's what I prefer. You can do it all the way around if you choose so, but I just like it like that. So as you can tell, I've got on my eyeliner now. It's really pretty brown. And then, you can leave it like this, add your mascara, be done. But I'm going to step it up a notch and use black coffee. It is a crayon, it's a cold crayon from Lancome. These pencils are so flipping long. When you get them, they are like super, super long. I have had this for over two years probably. And look. I mean, it's still like a full-size pencil, um, and it's really soft, and it does really well on tight line and water line. It does not wear away. I do not know if it is waterproof. Maybe that's why it does not wear away. I'm not certain, but it's a wonderful pencil, and it's a medium tone brown, so like any skin tone can use it. It, it works great. So. And I usually move my eye over and I just catch it like that. And so I tight lined and now I'm gonna do my water line. And I love this. Oh look at um you can use uh fascinating by Mac. Or I even have an NYC one. It's just a really cheap $3 one that uh, honestly didn't work. It wouldn't come off. Like, I couldn't get it to adhere to my skin. Anyway, this one is Sharna Kashuk from Target. Cannot remember how much it was, but you can get it at Target. And um, it's called Glacier. And it's double-ended. One side is a more shimmery white. And the other side is a more flat, just plain white. And I'm going to use the shimmery side on my waterline to kind of open it up. Because I didn't want to do like a smoky brown. I just wanted to do a bronze look. Okay, so you just look down. I know some people have a hard time doing this. You look down. and then sweep over and it's just it's shimmery it picks up in the light real pretty I really I really dig some Sonia Castro she's so awesome but yeah that works and that usually will stay for a while okay I must tell you about a wonderful mascara that I love. It is beautiful. I have used so, so many different types. I mean, from Lancome all the way down to Maybelline I've used. And this I have found to be wonderful and beautiful from God. It is Double Extend L'Oreal. You put this side on first. You don't even wait. You don't have to wait for it to dry. It's not like a primer. It just, it coats the lash, it extends the lash, and you put this on immediately after, and I mean, honestly, it looks like to me like I have a set of false.